Viala. This is the photo. My brother, my sister, he was born on the 5th of December, 1987, in a small village in the northern region of Ghana called Wulensi. Wulensi. It's a small farming village. His parents were both peasant farmers. My brother, my sister, he was born into a large family of about eight children. And he grew up in Wollensey with five of his siblings. Oh my God. He went to the farm. But he also went to school. All his life, he loved politics. He would discuss politics and the history of Ghana. My brother, my sister, he knew that one day he would work with politicians, either as a politician or somebody directly connected to politicians. So he decided to study political science at the University of Ghana at the age of 18. At the age of 18, my brother, my sister, he went to the University of Ghana to study. And that was 2005. In 2005, he was at the University of Ghana studying political science. It was there he started asking to get to know about Anas Armiyao Anas. My brother, my sister, and somebody hinted him that, oh, Anas, talk to this person. He will talk to the person. The person will also say, talk to that person. After talking from one person to the other and to the other and to the other, who knew another other, who also knew another, and from another to other to other to other other, they added up until he knocked on the doors of Anas Armiyao Anas. By what time he was already weary. He said, Sir, I am here to talk to you. He said, Who am I? He said, You are Anas Armiyao Anas. He said, well, you have the wrong person. I'm not the one. You want to talk to him? He said, from your voice, I can tell that it is you, sir. From his accent, Anas could tell that this was from the north. So he asked him straight away, I will introduce you to Anas. But where are you coming from? He said, I'm from Willensey. And I am schooling at the University of Ghana, Legon. What are you studying? Political science, right? No problem. Okay. So what do you want an ask for? Because when I speak with an ask, he's going to ask me, what do you want to do? And he said, I want to be an investigative journalist. Are you studying journalism? He said, no. I am actually studying political science. He said, oh, an ask, an, an ask is not a politician. He is an investigative journalist. That was when he said, yes. But I have a very deeply rooted and deeply seated love for journalism. I think that with little training, I'll be able to do it. And this person said, okay, now I'm going to give you your very first job. And it's going to be a test. When you return and you're able to do it well, then I can now comfortably introduce you to Anas. Go to Tema. Do you know where they sell the cocaine? Is a cocaine? No, I've never seen cocaine. He said, you don't have to see cocaine to know what cocaine is. Cocaine is white. I give you the clue. The rest is yours. Go and find where they sell cocaine. Right there in Tema. Record them and bring me good information. Information that is juicy. From there, I will introduce you to Anas, I promise. Brrr. He sat in a trotro and he started asking people, do you know where they sell cocaine? And people started looking at him. Fou, 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 Jimmy Free Hoko. Are they? Ah! You sit in a trotro and ask people where they sell cocaine? Are you crazy? It's like me walking around Makola Market. Anybody I see, I'm trying I turn we, you know. I ain't found a turn we, wah. My brother, 
before you realize the police will come after you. And uh, that was what he did. Finally, when he was able to locate where cocaine was sold, he blew his top and the cocaine people got to realize that he was an agent. The police came in after he was given a good beating by the cocaine sellers, rescued him, and a nurse told him finally, well, you have failed. I cannot introduce you to a nurse. Come on, cocaine sellers. You couldn't record. How do you expect to be an investigative journalist? Please go. He went away, cried for a number of days. He went back to this person and said, I made a mistake. I beg you, give me another chance. Are you sure? You can do it. And they gave him another chance. Bam! He cleared it. His first assignment, my brother, my sister, was an investigation into spirit children. How they were poisoned in the northern region of Ghana. Disabled children were poisoned. And they were called spirit children. If you were born with a disability, some people would come in and say, oh, it's a spirit child. Let's dispose of the child. They will give you a certain concoction. The baby will drink the concoction and die. It was poison. That was what they were doing. And Anas Armiyao Anas sent Ahmed Hussein Suwale on that mission. He went all the way to the northern region. A terrain that he was more than familiar with. And he cracked the investigation. Anas Armiyao Anas for the first time provided in fact a toy baby my brother my sister and they took this baby away and that was how they were able to get these crazy people who were killing people they also went to Malawi Tanzania and were able to get a lot of information to build that documentary that came out. It was big. Ahmed Swale had cracked his biggest. Then the second one came, Ghana in the eyes of God, where more than 130 judges, lawyers, magistrates were caught taking bribe in some of the most nauseating circumstances, like taking Goats as bribe to free hardened rapists and murderers. Ahmed Swale played a lead role. Now Anas Armiyao Anas used him the most because Ahmed Swale was unassuming. You see him very quiet. He will not talk. You will not even assume he could kill an ant. But this was a dangerous guy. He would go into all the look and cranny that he was sent to and crack it. Sometimes he would even suggest to Anas, I think that we need to investigate this. He had a small cubicle where he had made a lot of notes and he was called the Encyclopedia of Tiger Eye. That was his nickname. He was also so religious. No Muslim prayer time will come and pass without him getting up. No matter what he was doing, the moment he heard, Hello! Akbar! He would leave everything. Even if he was on top of his wife, doing the most important thing, hallelujah, he would break loose and go and pray. Ahmed Swale will pray anywhere. At the bus stop, my brother, my sister, even in front of the police station, he will spread a mat and pray. Because of that, Tiger Eye decided to choose him as the prayer man. He was the one who was saying all the prayers before every investigation started. They saw him as pious and religious. He had two wives. My brother, my sister, by Islamic laws, he could even have had two more. But he decided, in fact, to have two. Anas Armiya Anas was able to provide him with a blue BMW. My brother, my sister. And he was basking in some good glory. 
he was living the dreams of his life, investigating and getting the bad guys jailed. Well, his reign came to an end, my brother, my sister, when one hot afternoon, my brother, my sister, Kennedy and Japan came out with a documentary. And with this documentary, my brother, my sister, he showed the face of the journalist, Ahmed Swale, who had kept it as his biggest secret. He showed it out and said, this is the guy. I even have another one. And this other one, make it big. He shouted on his own TV station. My brother, my sister. And when the public got to see his face, he also said people should beat him and beat him really well and he would pay any time he came to his vicinity, his area, that he was a bad guy. My brother, my sister, this was what Kennedy Ejapon said. Listen attentively. This is thing. Well, your investigation about Mahama boys. Maybe some nurses say, I've been seen one for video now, my out. How many, how much money changed hands? And us should come and tell Ghanaians. Anyway, let me tell you. 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 Boy, be your friend, Ahmed. Or anyway, let me tell you. Anyway, let me tell you. Boy, be your friend, Ahmed. Or ba, mu who will promise his baby, ya, mu shino, mu shino, mu shino. Why we are with the idea of Boy, ya, why you very dangerous? What you mean, na ya? We share baby, ya, mu pa pa na zoom. Or ba, your promise is baby, ya, me say, me, mu mono, mu mono, mu shino, mu mono, mu shino, mu shino. Mushino, Mumono, 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 Mushino, Mushino, Mumono, Mushino, Mumono, Mushino, Mumono, Mushino, Mumono, Mushino, Mumono, Mushino. Anytime he comes around this premises, Mumono, Mushino. Anywhere you see him, beat him. I don't know why some people say Canada, Japan didn't say anywhere you see him, beat him. Listen to the tape again. He said, Anywhere you see him, beat him. And if he even comes here, ask for that, beat him mercilessly, and I will pay. Please, tapes do not lie. Listen to this part. Yes. Anyway, let me tell you. Anyway, let me tell you. Anyway, let me tell you. Boy, be your friend, Ahmed. Or ba, who will promise his baby? Why we are what the idea of Abba? Boy, why are very dangerous? What you mean, Haya? We share baby, I'm on par, par, and zoom. Or buy your premises, I be a missy. Me, mum, mum, no, ni a baby, I'm a tia. We go a bad. Ni a baby, I'm a tia. We share the baby, I'm on par, 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 na. Or buy your premises, I dia. Mum, mum, no, mum, par, par, na zoom. Ni a baby, I'm a tia. Whatever it is, I, it will pay for it. Like Bob Marley said, if I am guilty, I will pay. My brother, my sister. Days later, Ahmed Swale was gunned down in traffic. In fact, the sound of the gun sounded like crackers for Christmas. But it was not Christmas. His big brother was performing ablution to go and pray. Ahmed Swale had told his big brother that he was going to visit a sick person. And when it was getting to time to pray, he quickly was rushing home to pray. Because most of the time, he was the one who led prayer. My brother, my sister. And then the sound of crackers. Where head? So, ah, but who is firing crackers at this time? It's not crackers. It's not Christmas. Little did he know that those crackers crackled because the soul had gone down. My brother... Oh, Jesus. Now, he was still performing ablution when a boy ran over to him and told him, your brother is dead. They rushed to the car and they saw that the window had been shot, broken. And Ahmed Swali had been shot several times in the neck. There were two people on motorbike who even walked up to him and opened fire at close range into his chest. 
making sure that he was dead. And when they were sure that he was dead, one of the killers looked at the crowd that was gathering, smiled at the crowd, and lifted a finger towards his lips as if to say, keep quiet. Shh. And they rode the motorbike away. My brother, my sister, those two guys were not wearing masks. People had seen them in the area several days before. Hamed Swale was gunned down. They saw them in the area at the junction where Ahmed Swale would always pass by. Sometimes these two guys would even help people carry load and water from one side to the other. Some people thought that they were, they were robbers. But on the day, they realized that no, they were there for a reason to take the life of Ahmed Swale. Ahmed Swale was gunned down on the 16th of January, 2019. He was only 31 years old. He left behind a wife, in fact, two wives and children. My brother, my sister, today we remember Ahmed Swale. In fact, on the 16th of January 2020, a renowned international journalist, Guillaume Priera, published findings of a private investigation into the murder of Ahmed Hussein Swale Diviala as part of the forbidden stories. He alleges that the Ghana Police Service failed to follow up on a key lead. My brother, this is the corpse of Ahmed Swale. Muslims do not bury in coffins. He was wrapped up in this white garment and they carried him all the way into eternity. So, international journalist Guillaume Pierre said that they had given the Ghana police very key information. As Kennedy and Japan always said, that he was innocent, but he knew who killed Ahmed Swale. And he said he had given the information to the IGP. But the IGP was sitting on the information. It's the same thing the international journalist Guillaume Perrier said. Please put up the photograph of Guillaume Perrier. Guillaume is spelled G U I double L A U M E. That's Guillaume. That's French for William, right? William. William. In, in French, we don't say William, we say Guillaume. So Guillaume Perrier. Perrier is P E double R I E R. P R double R I E R. That's Guillaume Perrier. He alleged that they provided good information and a key lead for the Ghana police to be able to track down the murderers of Ahmed Swale. But the police was so limp and decided not to follow up on this. Kennedy Japan had said it several times that he was innocent. He wasn't the one. Yes, maybe. The murderers took advantage of the information he gave and decided to strike. But he has always been in a hurry to tell everybody that he is innocent. And you can see he's doing everything possible to prove himself, including threatening the IGP to come out with investigation. And this is Guillaume Perrier, in fact, also proving that there was a key lead that the Ghana police did not follow up on. Today we remember Ahmed Hussein Swale Diviala. All his life he wanted to be an investigative journalist. All his life he wanted to show the bad guys. Today we remember you. Ahmed Swale. Ahmed Swale. It's been five years and one day since he was gunned down. Today we remember you. Your Kai Kai wo. Brother, your Kai Kai wo what? Me see your Kai Kai wo. Your Kai Kai wo. Anyway, let me tell you. Boy, be your friend Ahmed. Oba, mu hunu wa promise sa baby ya. Mu shuno. Anyway, let me tell you. Anyway, let me tell you. Anyway, let me tell you. Boy, be your friend Ahmed. 
oba mo hu no promise sa ba bia mo hwe no wa we a wode ade abeboha boya we are very dangerous what you made na haya we share ba bia mo pa pa na zo oba your promise sa ba me say me mo mo no ni e ba ba bia me tua because a bad sa ahmed no mo show we mo pictures no ya we ba ku the desmond me the pictures be ba daniel me the pictures be ba some Larry made in pictures, Baba Raman made in pictures. Baba. Yes, Amanas, yes, 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 Saga. I and Roma, you are who dreadlock be near. I made in the maternity or to Madina here. Somebody picked and chill. We are almost what to Madina, yes. Ma, ni I am your woman, you say. My men kick up Bonibia wire first and Sana made a quotidian to give you at once. Was I want a quadri or Dubai? Your friend read one. I don't know how many posts you are shake. I have the pictures too. Rest in peace, my brother. Rest in peace. And we pray that your murderers are found. Yes, Ahmed Swale Di Viala. Ahmed Swale Di Viala. Ahmed Swale Di Viala. Rest in perfect peace as we remember you today. Oh my God. At the time that he was gunned down, he had just finished an investigation which was aired. It was called the number 12. And it implicated, yes, it implicated people like Kwisin Yantechi, the boss of Ghana football. My brother, my sister. And boom. That was the end. From that time till now, he's been very sad and bitter about Anas and his activities. Today we remember you, Ahmed Swale. Wherever you are, rest well. Tu tu gobi, tu tu gobi, Papa mula home, Mama 